Hi, it's Leah Bosby at Blackfish Finance with Travis Denham, a gang superstar. Hello, everybody. Hello, Leah. Hello. And uh, today we are talking all things swimming pools. So we've had a few clients looking at uh, buying houses with swimming pools, which has resulted in some questions about compliance of buying and selling a property with swimming pools. And then also uh, it has uh, started some questions about can we actually just put a pool into our current house? So today we're talking about swimming pools. So Trav, tell me from a compliance perspective, yep. if I was selling my house with a swimming pool, yep. what do you need to make sure is in place before yep. I can sell that property? Yep, so basically Leah, the short answer is a certificate of compliance from somebody who's licensed to check pool fence compliance. So we're not checking it with the pool, we're not checking whether the pool was approved by council or whatnot, that's done for the council searches, but making sure the pool fence, the gate, self-closing, all that, is the right height, self-closes within a certain amount of time, and it's compliant. So, what I do, I quite often go out to people's homes that have got a pool, we're about to sell it, and they say, oh, well, yeah, we had a check three years ago, doesn't matter. We, at the time of signing the contract to sell the home, between there and settlement, we get an independent person to come out and give us a compliance certificate then. We tell our clients, and this is the case, a lot, most conveyances won't settle on a property with a pool without that certificate. Reason is, if anything happens after settlement, of course you hope it doesn't, but if anything ever does, they're covered. And we're really about protecting our clients more okay. than anything, yeah. And so that independent person that comes out, what sort of cost is that to your vendor? Oh, I don't know, it's a hundred dollars, I think. Okay. Like a one to two hundred dollars. And most of the good ones, like we've got a couple that we deal with, they'll come out, they'll check it, they'll say, it doesn't comply. What you need to do is have an extra piece this high here on this, you know, up against the fence. I'll do it, I'll come back. Then when you pay me, I'll give you the certificate. Yeah, so yeah. they could sometimes do two visits. I mean, it depends on who you've got, but yeah. Perfect. But it's peace of mind and it's, it should be legislated, but it's, it, it's world's best practice is you should have a compliant certificate prior to settlement every time. I think it's yeah. a good idea uh, for everybody to know that it's all, the properties are all on yeah, control. Yeah. And so then we get a lot of questions uh, from clients saying, I'm thinking about putting in a swimming pool. It's gonna cost me X amount of dollars. Do you think it'll add that much value? So there's two components of that. One, an agent like Travis can literally tell you. Um, and you know, if your pool's gonna cost you 50 or 60, you might not get that, but it depends on the product and the result of how much you're actually putting into that. So um, that's certainly a, a project that you've done for a few of our clients. You yeah. know, is it worth putting it in? Um, and then what we do see from a financing perspective is we can look at uh, whether you can refinance your current house and put in a pool because there, it can be a quite an expensive transaction to buy and sell with just a gain in a pool. Mm. So you see that a bit, don't you? Yeah, and it's kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, it's almost catch 22. If you're buying and selling a home just for the pool, it's gonna cost you probably 50 grand or 60 grand in selling costs, or well, depending on what the properties are worth, but on selling costs and buying costs. So your stamp duty, yep. transfer fees, all that. If you add the pool in to an existing home and it costs you, let's say, 50 grand again, you probably haven't added that value. You may have added 10 or 20, but it also depends on the home. Yeah. So we had a colleague of ours recently that was selling a little courtyard villa that had a pool where the tiny little bit of yard normally would be. It was a hard sell. So you wouldn't put one in a home like that. Yeah. But if it's a four bed, five bed, big family home, with you know, a big family home with four or five bedrooms and multiple living areas on a big block, Chances are when you resell, you're going to be reselling to a family with a growing family that's going to get, like we purchased our home three years ago, I've got three young kids, for that exact reason. We found this is the kind of home in the area we wanted, it already had the pool, it made sense. That's right, yeah. and all of our friends certainly know that the Busby's got a pool this summer, so, um, yes, and that's what started our topic today, talking about how automated it is to clean out the <laughs> pools. So uh, any questions about compliance, definitely speak to your real estate agent, speak to your conveyancer, and any questions about the cost and the way to finance putting a pool into your existing house, we can help and Trav can have a chat to you. Yes, you know, it does add value. Yeah. It won't add a big value, but often uh, the swimming pool is all about lifestyle rather than finance. Yeah, and Leah and I can come around and have a swimming pool at your pool <laughs> once it's in as well. We don't need to. Oh, that's right, yeah. we've got pool. <laughs> yeah, that's all of us for today, so have a good day. Enjoy your swimming pool.